Welcome to this video on beta-lactamase antibiotic resistance. So what are beta-lactamases? They are a family of enzymes found in bacteria such as Escherichia coli, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Neisseria gonorrhea and Pseudomonas aeruginosa. The name beta-lactamase is derived from the enzyme's action on beta-lactams, a class of antibiotics which include penicillins, cephalosporins and carbapenems. Beta-lactamases inactivate these antibiotics, resulting in bacteria with antibiotic resistance. There are five different types of resistance mechanisms found in bacteria. There is reduced permeability, modification of the target molecule, efflux pumps, altered metabolism, and finally inactivating enzymes, which bind to the antibiotic and prevent its function. It is this mechanism that beta-lactamases fall under. So how do beta-lactamases work? Well, bacteria cells contain enzymes called penicillin binding proteins. Bacterial cell walls are composed of peptidoglycan, made up of altering NAM and NAG subunits. Penicillin binding proteins cross-link NAM subunits by forming peptide bonds. Beta-lactam antibiotics bind to penicillin binding proteins and prevent cross-linking, causing weakened cells that eventually burst and lies under osmotic pressure. However, beta-lactamases inactivate the antibiotic, preventing binding and thus allowing bacteria to resist the antibiotic. All beta-lactam antibiotics share the beta-lactam ring, the red structure shown here in penicillin and cephalosporin. Beta-lactamases hydrolyze the beta-lactam ring structure. In this example, penicillin is hydrolyzed into penicilloic acid as a result of the beta-lactam ring breaking open. There are multiple different types of beta-lactamase enzymes. These include CTXM, TEM, SHV, OXA, AMPC and NDM1. And these types can also be classed as extended spectrum beta-lactamases, which confer resistance to many different beta-lactam antibiotics. There are two different classification systems for beta-lactamases. First, there is the functional classification, where the enzymes are grouped by substrate and inhibitor profiles. Then, there is the molecular classification, which is based on amino acid sequence, with those using zinc ions in class B, and those using serine for hydrolysis in groups A, C and D. Beta-lactamases do not inactivate all beta-lactam antibiotics. ESBL producers are susceptible to carbapenems and cefamycins. AMP-C producers are susceptible to carbapenems, fluoroquinolones and tigacycline, and carbapenemases susceptible to tigacycline and polymyxins. Beta-lactamase resistance can be counteracted by use of inhibitors. These include clavulanic acid, sulbactam, tazobactam and avibactam. They bind to beta-lactamases, restoring the function of beta-lactam antibiotics. However, inhibitors have no effect against class B metallobeta-lactamases that use zinc ions. This has been a video on beta-lactamases. Thank you.